uh, whenever I meet with people and I and I tell them that I'm in education, that I'm in uh, that I am a education major, they always say, um, "Oh, you're just it's very so much needed uh, within." Um, schools today. Nearly 700 teacher positions were vacant in South Carolina at the beginning of the school year, according to research conducted by the Center for Educator Recruitment, Retention and Advancement. Despite those numbers, Claflin is hoping it can help with the shortage after the institution's Department of Education recently obtained accreditation. It is significant for the university because it is the gold seal of approval for all things teacher education and all things teacher licensure. If an institution loses its accreditation, particularly for teachers, uh, those teachers who graduate from an institution from a non-accredited program, those licensures are of ill effect. Dr. Anthony Pittman is the Dean and Professor of Education. He says one of the focuses for the school is recruiting more teachers, especially black men. What the data suggests is that the earlier that students are exposed to role models who look like them, the likelihood of their succeeding in schools is increased. What they're gearing us to do is not only just to teach them uh, curriculum, of course, we teach them the curriculum because that's important, but we also uh, reach out to them in their mindsets. Aaron Oliver is a senior majoring in middle education at Claflin. He says he wants to teach eighth grade history in his hometown of Orangeburg after he graduates. He says Claflin's recent achievement helps future teachers like him to get into classrooms since the representation is very little. It's wonderful to recruit men, uh, more men into the profession, but it's even better when you can recruit men into the profession that have a genuine heart for what they do. For Street Squad Orangeburg, I'm Devin Johnson.